Hello. In our previous video on the Music 21 library, we briefly encountered the stream object. As we discovered, this object functions as a container for an assortment of other musical objects, including notes, rests, and time signatures. Moreover, a stream object also has a powerful capability to contain other stream objects as well, providing an effective and efficient means of organizing musical ideas and compositions. In this video, we will continue to explore the stream class in greater depth, paying special attention to its crucial subclasses, voice, part, and score. These subclasses can also be considered musical containers, each with its own unique purpose and functionality. We are going to explore how these classes can be employed to effectively organize musical structures in Music 21. We'll begin by importing the Music 21 library. Then we'll create a new score object with score equals stream dot score. In essence, this is the highest level container in the Music 21 library, serving as a container for all other objects and providing a comprehensive overview of an entire musical composition. The score object provides a blank slate onto which we can add our other voices and parts, building up a complete musical score from scratch. Next, we're going to create a new part object by typing part equals stream dot part. A part represents a single instrument or vocal part in a composition. In an orchestral work, each instrument or section would have its own part object. We'll create another part object and call it baseline to represent a baseline. To create musical lines within a single part, we can use the voice object. A voice object is a specialized kind of stream that can be used to help represent multiple overlapping musical ideas or layers within a single staff. In our case, we want to create a part with two voices, one for the melody and one for the harmony. To achieve this, we'll create two voice objects using voice1 equals stream.voice and voice2 equals stream.voice. To represent a simple C major scale as a melody, we'll add some notes to the voice1 object. We'll use a list called notes, which holds note names as strings. Using a for loop, we create a note object for each note name in the notes list, which we can then add to the voice1 object. For note name in notes, melody note equals note.note, .note, note name, voice1.append melody note. We can create some harmony notes and add them to voice 2 inside the same loop. To create a harmony note for each melody note, we shall utilize the note object's transpose method to create a new note that is a specific interval away from the original note. In this case, we want the harmony note to be 8 half steps, i.e. a minor sixth lower than the melody note. We'll then add each harmony note to voice 2. Harmony note equals voice one dot transpose minus eight voice two dot append harmony note. Additionally, we'll also add the baseline part in each iteration of the loop. Base note dot octave minus equals two creates a new note that is two octaves lower than the original melody note by accessing the octave property of the note object. We then add this new bass note to the bass line using baseline.append bass note. We now have both the melody and harmony parts which we have added to their respective voices. Next we can append both voice objects to the first part object using the append method. We pass a list that contains voice1 and voice2 to part.append so that both voices are added to the first part object. Finally, we will add the part objects to the score object and specify a time offset of zero with score.insert zero part and score.insert zero baseline and display the score with score.show. The voice, part, and score subclasses play a distinct role in structuring musical compositions, offering a versatile and effective way to compose and store music. Through the creation of a score object as the top level container and the addition of part objects containing their respective voice objects, we can construct and represent intricate and multi layered musical pieces. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and please leave a comment below to suggest other aspects of Music 21 that you'd like me to explore.